morning everyone welcome back to Road Road and Restore I'm John and in this video I will be going back to this I don't know if you remember this the old rack and storage uh, I made it so it wasn't really a quick release and I want it to be quick release so that's what I'm going to do in this video try and turn this into a quick release removable luggage yeah, so basically that's fixed to the bike and this goes on the top of that so that sort of slides into there like that and then these were a bit wobbly so I built these brackets to fit on there like that but the trouble is they're going over the actual rack so if I want to take this luggage part off of the rack I've got to undo all these but I don't want to do all that I just want to like undo something and then I can just slide the old lot off the rack leaving these bags attached so I think I found a way so anyway without further ado let's get on with it okay so I've found this it's been behind the shed for years what I'm going to try and do is cut all the way down one side cut all the way down the other side so I've got two pieces of angle iron and then use it this because the rack is uh, dissolving in acid you can see that don't know if you can see it in there yes yeah, so we've had to come up with another plan <coughs> which involves taking this to bits and starting all over again what I'm thinking is because these sides are all so flimsy and buckled pretty bent what I'm thinking is going with that fold over there continuing it round putting all this off Just continue that fold all the way round to there and the same on the other side and then this sharp edge what's left on the edge there sharp edge what's left on the edge there yeah that'll do you just uh, stick some of this car trim on there like so to 
finish it off which means I'm just having one bag on the top of the rack unless I come up with another idea of getting three bags two on either side one on either side god wake up Johnny okay now look right don't all shout at me at once uh, that down there I might just scrap that idea and uh, I've come up with another cunning plan uh, I've got a couple of these deck chairs where the seat has gone through so I've got all this lovely tubing and what I'm thinking is holding them on there like so and across then my back can just attach to that so let's see if I can weld them on there wish me luck okay then so I've cut some pieces off that I'll cut one piece off cleaned it up tried to cut it down at a 45 angle so that will go there and there another one there and then this one across the top so if I put that there and against there like that Hopefully that should be square. But if I try and weld that bit, we should be good to go. And all I've got to do is cut it off to the right length and then do another down piece. And then hopefully that side will be done. So you know me, I don't want to use the welder on the camera because it doesn't do the lens any good. And I can't afford to keep buying cameras. So I'm going to do it off camera. Cool, look at the best it is. Okay then, so that's where I'm up to so far. We've made a J. So what we have got to do is cut that bit off, cut that bit off, make a groove so they sit on there like that and then roll that onto there. So I've got to cut these, I've got to grind these down. Yes, I did some mitre cups. Grind them down. It's good and strong enough. So yeah, I'll cut those off like I say and stick them on there. Yeah, that'll be back when I've done that. Okay then, so this is where I'm up to. Not that one made up, it doesn't look too bad. I've got some grooves out on the bottoms. I've not cut them out, just filed them. Just so they fit over the tubes nicely. And that is going to get welded on there like that. And I've uh, cut all the other side out. Nice and ready. Luckily I've got this. I've just taken the uh, wood blade out and uh, put one of these metal cutting blades in which fits nicely so I could get the uh, mitre joints and what I'm thinking and what I'm thinking is I've got plenty of this stuff so I might just do some sort of strengthening piece like that from there to there Boom, boom. So let me do all that and then I'll be back when I've done all that. <laughs>
Okay, so and that's where I'm up to at the minute. Yes, pretty proud of that. Uh, I did weld that all up there and I was just trying to weld this one up and then the welder went so you know what that means no wire left no wire in stock so yes I've still Yeah, I've still got to weld that up. I'm still going to put a supporting piece across there, I think, just in case it gets knocked at the side or whatever. Uh, paint it black, obviously. So, yeah, that's it. Happy with that? Very happy. It even looks straight, doesn't it? Well, probably don't look straight on this fish eyed camera, but. It is straight. Wicked. Cool bananas. Yeah, perfectly splendid and all that. Balls out, mate. Do you know what I mean? So, yes, there you go. Bit better than the uh, what I was making at the first, I reckon. So, I'm going to break it in a minute, hold on. So yes, that's it. So anyway, enough of all that, yes, uh, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, stay well, stay safe, but I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.